Now, a recent study suggested that three quarters of young people, <laughs> that's an awful lot, aspire to become famous by being a vlogger with stars on platforms, well, like YouTube. I mean, YouTube is the place to be yes. if, you want to, if you want to make it on the big time. Uh, they want millions of followers on YouTube. And our next guest is someone who made the grade, Thomas Ridgewell, or Tom Scar, as he's known online. He's uh, one of the UK's first YouTubers and has now written a dark Christmas book called Sam Kills Christmas. Oh. I was going to say welcome, but it, it sounds <laughs> doesn't sound very welcome topic. I'm sorry. What is it about and why? Oh, that's a you have to ask my therapist that. <laughs> but uh, well, Sam Kills Christmas is sort of a, a yeah dark take on a on a kid's Christmas picture book. I, I've seen so many uh, over the years, and and I, I just wanted to just pull it back, bring everyone down with me. I don't like Christmas. Why? I'll just I'll just start with that. I was. I, what don't you like about Christmas? Oh, just everything, just the whole the whole show. I was raised not to like it. I was raised not to celebrate it. So uh, I just grew up a Grinch. Um, oh, yeah, I know. I'm a real I've never one. known a Grinch from birth. Oh. <laughs> is, is, is there? Is, I mean, is there? A, do you think? With, is this sort of like a teenage or younger than that? Because uh, is, is there a? It, amongst young people, is there sort of a need to rebel a little bit? Yes, I'd say that, I mean, the character of Sam, I, I'd say, is about 10 years old, and they're sort of based on, on myself at the age of 10, you know, like in you know, horrible histories and, yeah. and those more edgier things, doodling axe-wielding maniacs in, in, in their sketchbooks and that kind of thing. That's, that's their setting. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you get the, the, the sense that there was a, a need for this type of, of storyline? I mean, is it from feedback? Of lots of people saying actually there are quite a few of us who who don't go all gooey and celebrate Christmas yeah well I mean I, I mean partially it was just I, you know I grew up with things like goosebumps and, and and horrible histories and all these like kind of weirder edgier things and I haven't seen as many of those around for kids lately so I wanted to make this I wanted to fill this niche where it's you know something incredibly festive but flipped on its head that's something I love doing is taking something pure and fun and innocent and ruining it for everyone. Ruining it. <laughs> Just ruining it. I mean, look, it's quite interesting, that whole idea of three quarters of, of, of young people want to be famous on YouTube. And you can understand it when, when you know, there are a lot of people who've, who've had an, an awful lot of success. I guess it must be more difficult now for someone starting out now than when mm -hmm. you did in that you had a, a sort of a clean sheet to work on. Yeah, well, I mean, well, it's, it's worth noting regarding that statistic as well that, you know, when I was in school, I think 70% of kids wanted to be a footballer or a reality show star and, and before then, you know, some TV presenters. I think kids, yeah. kids always inherently want to do what seems like the most fun job. Um, but yeah, the, when I got into it, there wasn't the expectations of these audiences. Um, I mean, when I started making YouTube, the most popular YouTuber in the world was an 80-something-year-old British man. Um, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, uh, geriatric 1927, and he had, a, he had about 2,000 subscribers, and that was the top. That was <coughs> that was the goal. Wow. So, um, and what have you? I mean, what have you got in terms of subscribers now? Oh, I stopped counting. No, I didn't. It's oh. it's four. It's 5.4 <laughs> million. 5.4 million. To be million. precise. Yeah. Well, I could be more precise, but that, I don't know those numbers. Well, um, and what do you think <laughs> wow. your your secret is? Well, why do you think you've been that? that popular what is it that, that oh, people I think seek it's my out in boyish you? charm and good looks <laughs> obviously uh, yeah. apart from that <laughs> <laughs> um, no I, I, I think it is just that I, I, I've been on the platform uh, since relatively early on I've been making videos on YouTube and well on YouTube for 12 years now on the internet for 16 years oh I'm very tired and <laughs> um, I, I got very lucky is the truth is, is so much of this is down to just sheer luck I was on the platform early enough and yeah, yeah. Early, early adopters often get get the best deal on all this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But what in terms of content now, though, how do you? Because you say sixteen years, it's a long, it's a long time to evolve as a as a person and as a as a creative. I guess if you want to put it in those terms. So how do you? Are you aware that your content has to, has to evolve? Kind of, yes. But I've I've always tried to avoid necessarily tra chasing trends, and that's why I've. I think one of the reasons I've managed to stay on the platform so long is I haven't burnt myself out, you know, trying to just do whatever's currently popular. I just I make the videos I like making. I make them for myself, aged twelve to fourteen, and and. I don't know where these kids were when I was in school because I didn't have any friends. But apparently, <laughs> they're all out there and they like the stuff I like. Again, where were they when I was young? 
little loser. <laughs> you see, I, I, do you give over? Give over. I bet you're popular now because, I mean, it's, mm. there, there must be a fair amount. If you've got 5.4 million subscribers, whatever it is, there must be quite a lot of money in that. Um, well, there's, there's, you know, there's enough. It, it's not as crazy and wild westy as it was before when no one knew how much anything was worth. But you know, I have, I have a mortgage, um, which at 28 is now surprising, yeah. uh, sadly. But um, yeah, honestly, it's, it's, it's a sustainable income, but it's incredibly unpredictable. Yeah. I, I cannot tell you if I'll be financially secure in six months because this is. A bonkers landscape. Mm. Well, at least you, got, still... you, have, you have the book to keep you going. Then That'd I do. Thing. Tom, really good to see Thank you. you. Thank you very, you very much. much indeed. Okay, quick check.